Hey guys, welcome to my channel! I'm glad you're joining me again for the next episode of this series, where I travel on a culinary journey around the world to find out which country has the healthiest national dish. The culinary area we are currently visiting is Oceania, and today we're having a closer look at Strea. Their national dish is lamb roast. Since we have a lot to cook for that, we better get started right after the intro. First, we'll prepare the seasoning for our lamb. For that, I'll heat up some olive oil and add a few crushed cloves of garlic and freshly chopped rosemary. Infuse the oil with those aromatics for a few minutes and then filter it through a strainer. Here I have my leg of lamb, which is the star of the show. Ideally, take it out one or two hours before, so it isn't stone cold when you put it in the oven. I'll make some incisions in the fat on the top. Then I'll season it with salt, pepper and our aromatic oil. And make sure to get in every nook and cranny. On the bottom side, I'll also sprinkle some more chopped rosemary and lemon zest. Then we'll place the lamb in a baking dish on top of a half onion and head of garlic, so it's slightly elevated. In the fat on the top, I'll put in some rosemary twigs and garlic cloves. Cook it in a preheated oven at a high temperature for about 20 minutes and then we'll lower the heat and cook it for another hour or so. Now it's time to tend to the side dishes to accompany our lamb. First, we'll prepare the potatoes. While they are cooking, we'll once again infuse some olive oil with rosemary and garlic like before. When the potatoes have cooked for about 10 minutes and softened on the outside, we'll peel them. Of course, it would be much more convenient to peel them before the cooking process. But since we want to preserve as many nutrients as possible, we'll have to endure touching these hot potatoes. Until the lamp is done and we can cook our potatoes, we'll take a quick info break. Australia is home to about 130 million sheep. That's five times more sheep than their human population. Australia is also the biggest producer of wool. They are responsible for 29% of all the wool in the world. There is a special breed of sheep named the Australian white sheep, which is the descendant of four different sheep breeds. It has many favorable characteristics. For example, it sheds its own hair, so it's not necessary to shear them. It is resistant to pests like flies and lice. Also, it breeds all year round and the lambs mature early. And it has a good carcass shape and eating quality as well. The meat of this Australian white sheep has a much lower fat melting point than meat from other sheep breeds. It rather compares to the fat melting point of Wagyu beef. A lower fat melting point improves the taste and tenderness of the meat and is also indicative of a high amount of omega-3 fatty acids. And indeed, the meat of this Australian white sheep has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, much more than other sheep breeds or many of the popular consumer red meats. These omega-3 fatty acids are unsaturated fatty acids, which are essential to us humans, because our body can't produce them by itself, but has to take them in through food. They have been shown to reduce the risk for cardiovascular diseases and also promote health in many other ways. Welcome back to the kitchen! The lamp has now reached the right internal temperature and we'll let it rest on a hot plate for half an hour. While it's resting, we'll change the oven settings to 200 degrees Celsius circulating heat and bake our potatoes. In the meantime, we'll make a tasty gravy. Squeeze out all the flavor of the garlic and the onion and filter it through a strainer. 
While the base of our sauce is heating up again, we'll dissolve some flour and butter. And when it turns golden brown, mix it into the lamp drippings. After a minute, we'll deglaze with some red wine and some beef stock. Let it simmer for a while so the sauce thickens. Now we'll quickly turn the potatoes and bake them some more until they are golden brown all around. As a vegetable side dish, peas are often served together with lamb roast. While they are cooking, we will dice an onion and fry it in a mixture of olive oil and butter. Together with some garlic. Then I'll add the peas. Season them with salt, pepper and a tiny bit of chili powder and mash them lightly. When the potatoes have taken on a nice golden brown color, we'll add the previously filtered aromatics and give them a good toss. And there you have it, lamb roast with baked potatoes and smashed peas. But before you go, let's take a look at the nutritional values of Streya's national dish. The calorie amount is very nice for a main dish, about half of the daily recommended calories. There is also a satisfying number of dietary fiber present and a lot of protein and fat. The cholesterol is within the boundaries of the daily recommended level. But since there isn't much room left to the 300 mg limit, you should be mindful about what else you eat in the day. If we have a look at the relative amounts of the daily recommendations, we see that this dish contains a lot of nutrients. Particularly, these minerals and vitamins stand out. But since we need a consistent basis for comparison of the different national dishes, I broke down the nutrients based on a thousand kilocalories. Now for the final review. The calories are exactly what I would recommend for a main dish for a woman like me, who lives in a western industrialized country. I assess the good nutrients as follows. If in the 1000 kilocalorie scenario, they cover 50% or more of the daily recommendation, they get a point. The protein, vitamins and minerals excel here, but the dietary fiber isn't bad as well. The nutrients, which should be kept in close boundaries, are evaluated depending on how close they already get to this boundary in this single dish. So the only ones we have to keep an eye out for here are salt and maybe cholesterol. This leaves us with 3.5 out of 5 points for a general assessment of the nutrients. As for regarding taste, I'll give this roast lamb a 4. Of course, the taste doesn't count in our search of the healthiest national dish. And so, Australia will be colored in orange. And that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment or subscription. And I hope to see you again soon. Next up is New Zealand. Until then, bye!